One minute to the mumble man's house. One minute. Then we're headed to the bay. Two, one, that's, oh, hello. Well, we're going in. What will we find? Tide's not too low. Stand by. Well, the first target's at 12.15. Let's see what 12.15 is going to be. A lot of rocks here. You can't see them, they're just under the sand. Sounds like we got 12.15. If we can ever find it, oh, I see it. Right on top, see it? Brass screw. I don't have to move all them rocks around for that. And just drop them back in the sea. All right, stand by. Now we got a 12.11, five feet away. No 1211s in there. All I see is Rock City. Stand by, let's see what's in there. Mmm. Well, that ain't it. That's not it. Still in the hole or something. Let's try it again. Stand by a minute. Right there, a piece of aluminum. It's trying to breeze up on us. Been breezing up for 15 minutes. I hope it don't get too bad. Stand by. <coughs> Mumbo's man just got a, a earlobe ring, a little small earlobe ring. Them sizers, you know. That might be the best of it right there. I think it's a spoon, or part of a spoon, I should say. Yeah, it broke off right there, you see it? <laughs> that wasn't lost last week either. I don't know if you can see this rock tonight, but we've moved into a, a rockier area. Rocks everywhere. Twelve forty right here. I guess we better dig this. Might be might be a blank, but stand by. Well, we got a look through right there. Find out whether it is a blank or not. <laughs> God knows. Whew. Ten scoops deep. I don't know what it is, but it is deep. Got a brass do that.
gray matter. Few coins. We might as well be in Hurricane Danny. Be right here. It's rough as bricks right here. Look at him. Man just handed me his tag. He knows I like to play tags. I'm gonna go play that number in a minute. One, four, that's a good pick five number right there. We'll play that baby. You know, about, we got we got 30 minutes before we can put a deadline. Cremation tag. Yeah, baby. What is it? Freemason tag? Cre cremation. When they bury you in the sand in the water, your tag washes to the shore. Let's see here. You got a cell phone, you got a cell phone. I don't know what that is. Looks like a first. Yeah, some kind of foreign thing. No, it's a it's a it's copy of a Greek track. coin or something. Uh, thing focus. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Probably come off a charm bracelet yeah, or something. That's what you I know? think with the hole in it. It's awful thin. I think it rang up like twelve. ZTE phone. Not too bad a shape, is it? No, but it's been out there. You see that one of the portals is Yeah, gone. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Somebody powered it up out of there. All right, there it is. One, four, five, seven, eight. We played two tickets on it. One dollar each. We'll see how it turns out in about 40 minutes. Well, here's a roundup. Three quarters, three nickels, one dime, a few meager pennies, some gray matter. You saw the spoon, you saw the stud. That's the best of it. I don't think there is a best of it. Maybe that shotgun shell right there might be the best of it. I ain't found a shotgun shell in a long time. Bleak. Beaver went to the ocean front and it was about the same. I show you. I'll put I'll put his stuff in at the end. Okay. While I was washing my stuff off, the mailman brought me something in the mailbox. Some kind of box. I'll get that inside in a minute. Stand by. Well, inside from the roundup. This is the note that was in the box. Thank you very much, Carl. You're a cool man. I like it. Here's the box. There's glory in this box. Only y'all that know how have used these know what I mean. The ones that you have not tried them, you're missing out big time. But that's just my opinion, you know, everybody's got opinion. Gel ear muffs, the best of it. I'm not going to take them out, I'm going to leave them in this bag. Look at them, they're nice and soft. Only one thing softer than that. I like them too. Carl, thank you very much. Carl's one of my YouTube fellows from Pennsylvania. Now, you remember uh, last Thursday I picked up some knives to cake home and clean up a little bit, some carbon steel knives. Two hunting knives and a big long saboteur chef's knife. Well, you know, carbon, they were in bad shape. I'm not going to go give you the old pictures of them, but you know what carbon steel gets like. They were terrible. This one is in bad shape, but I've got it back halfway decent now. It's all sharpened up. I think the man wants to pick them up tomorrow. This a little K-bar here. This is a nice little knife right here. I had one person I'm going to do it for years. I don't know whatever happened to it. Hmm. Nice to keep. Okay, that's it. Nice gift. 
a few targets, nothing to keep us overly excited. Seemed like to me there was something else I was going to do. I told you I was going to add Beaver. I'm going to add the Guru. I mean the Mumbles man. At the end. I guess that's it. That's all I can think of. All right, stand by. I'll see you tomorrow. I might not see you tomorrow. I got a. I got some honeydews to do. The leader of the home is uh, going back to Ballhead again tomorrow. No, Wednesday morning. I got to take her to the airport. She's flying to Wilmington and taking the car to Southport and then the ferry over to Ballhead. I got a bunch of stuff to do, so I may not be able to make it tomorrow. Because the tides are, you know, kind of early. I don't know. We have to see how it goes. Stand by. Good luck to everybody. Thank you again, Carl. I just remember what the other thing was. That's the pick five numbers from today. We got the first two. That was it. Remember that tag that Danny found? It was one five. It was one four five seven eight. And we got the five and the seven, but that's it. And you win five dollars if you get three numbers. Nothing for two numbers. Back to the drawing boards.